In fact, I visualized half the things you said in the Bible or in this book, I mean, about the Bible. And I don't know if I should have had my goggles on because a lot of it's X rated, but you <laughs> taking your shoes off and walking in the, in the giant footprints of the gods at the base of the temple door entering into the temple. And it, and it made me think of the echoes of like Josephus saying that like God left the temple. Like it makes me think of things like that, that I never thought about. So your book was kind of trying to re-digest or unlearn all of the things we have packaged on philosophically about God that did not exist biblically. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly the point of this book. I'm trying to say we need to see this ancient deity in his his natural habitat. And that natural habitat was a world in which a lot of the, the theological and philosophical preconceptions that we have about what the divine is supposed to be and its relationship to materiality, to being human, that, that, you know, th those ideas are later post-biblical constructs. And so what I'm trying to do in this book is to really take seriously the sociality of what it was to be human um, human imagination and when it comes to, to conjuring up these ideas about otherworldly beings, taking seriously archaeology and the materiality and sensory visual qualities um, of life in the ancient world so that we can better understand what these texts were trying to, to say about this deity. Wow. I need to warn our audience. I don't know if I will have time to like get into your questions. So forgive me. If you're, if you're super chatting questions, I will try. But this is an episode I only have 60 minutes, so please, I've been waiting for three, four months to uh, maybe longer than that, actually, since I first tried to reach out, but for this particular book, so please bear with me as we get into the content. Um, one of the things that you, you, you know, we should consider when we look at this is how, for example, Christians interpret the let us make man in our image as the Trinity, right? We know from looking at this, that is not in its original context what is being said. We know that that is interpretation coming later. We do the same thing, allegorizing or anthropomorphizing things to make it seem like, well, that's, that's, he's just trying to make it relatable. So you can understand as you fickle little humans are trying to grasp this God. And that's how I always read the Bible. But in this book, you're literally going into the anatomy of everything about God. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's, I mean, that's the main point of the book is the best way to dislodge our Christianized assumptions, because, you know, whether we're believers or not, I mean, I'm I'm not a, a religious person at all, um, Me neither. but whether we're believers or not, these, this collection of ancient texts has really shaped our own cultural assumptions and views. And as a means of trying to destabilize that kind of Christianized Western cultural view, I'm trying to say, look, you know, one of the biggest differences um between the God that's being written about in these ancient texts and the God that Jewish and Christian people worship today is that, you know, the ancient days, he had had a body. He was understood to be human shaped. Um, his body was far more kind of glamorous and um, much more hyper masculine in a lot of ways. Um, but, you know, it was human shaped. So just as, you know, he is said to have created humans in his own image. Um, it, it means it's a visual correspondence. Um, that's what makes, you know, humans special according to this particular ideological worldview is that we're better than animals because we're God shaped, um, just as God is human shaped. And so that's what I'm trying to explain in this book. So I anatomize, I tell the story of God, his early history, if you like, his early career by anatomizing him. And we, I start with his feet and I work all the way up his body to his genitals, his backside, his innards, his chest, his arms, his face, his hands, his legs, you know, the whole kind of package. <laughs> yeah, you do. You definitely do. I mean, it, it gets explicit in some places. I'm like, whoa, but that's the ancient world.